The qualifier is proving not as easy for some of our other contestants. And our next contestant is... Very, very tall. This big boy is Kevin Osmus, an Oklahoma sheriff. How tall are you, Kevin? 6'9". Six 6'9". Nine. Six nine. Yes, ma'am. Here's Kevin approaching the topple towers. <laughs> Man, looks like Godzilla just destroyed Tokyo. Just ahead on Sucker Punch, we have 56-year-old Nancy Novak. She's the oldest woman in our competition, John. I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about osteoporosis. <sighs> Nancy once climbed Mount Whitney by herself, but she's just barely managing to climb the ramp to the big balls. Go, Nancy! <laughs> oh. Let's take one more look at this. Look at her plug in her nose, John. I don't even think she aimed for the ball. No. I think she just jumped right in the water for the splash. <laughs> How you doing, Nancy? I don't think she's gonna make it, Jill. You're looking at a woman who tried to climb Mount Whitney and also rides a motorcycle, okay? She's a very strong woman. All right, well, if she wins a 50 grand, she'll be able to spoil her grandkids. Unfortunately, it looks like Nancy is in danger of losing her world's greatest grandma status. And with a time of 12 minutes and 33 seconds, it's safe to say Nancy probably will not be moving on. But at least she'll be home for her favorite TV show, Wipeout, she wrote. Now for our final contestant, jazz dancer Arthur Sepchek. Oh, I loved him in West Side Story. Whoa! He is on the course and clearly jazzed about his participation on Wipeout. Arthur coming up to the topple towers. That's 50,000. Or two steps to a broken tailbone. Let's see how he does on Sucker Punch. Five, six, seven, eight. And he's down for the count. Nobody puts Arthur in the corner. OK, now it's time for the big balls. Ooh, you thought maybe his dance training would serve him better there. Arthur Murray, where are you when we need you? Arthur Sebchek, meet your new dance partner. Ooh, he's a maniac. That hurts. With a time of two minutes and two seconds, Arthur Sebchik easily headed into our next round. Here's a look at who's joining him. Go-go dancer Jesse Duran, North Carolina's Travis Mitchell, and our gigantic cop, Kevin Austin. Our oldest and youngest competitors, Pastor Jerry Hewson and Andrew the Candyman Ritter, will be moving on as well. Those are the standings, but it's important to remember that we clear the scores at the end of each round, so the contestants will be starting each new event with a clean slate. And hopefully clean clothes. When we come back, we will go from 12 to six. And we'll also see a lot of people wipe out. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Glad to have you with us here on Wipeout. After the qualifying round, we've cut the field in half and 12 contestants will be moving on. Among them, we've got dancers, Arthur and Jesse, the mouth of the South, Travis Mitchell, and our pair of cops, Kevin and Nick, plus Andrew the Candyman. But you haven't seen anything yet. The Wipeouts are about to get much, much worse. And here's why. Our next challenge, the sweeper. Contestants will stand on 10-foot high poles and must avoid being knocked off by a rotating arm that changes in speed and height. The first six people to wipe out are out of the game, lose their shot at the 50 grand. The remaining six will be moving on, but that doesn't mean they won't be wiping out. No, that's right, because the sweeper will continue until the last man standing takes home a $1,000 bonus. Okay, the contestants are ready. Let's go down to the sweeper. Are you nervous yet? Oh my God. It's hard enough just standing here. That dude right there is just too big. You too big. Is this what you call game time? Oh. oh, it's game time. Now let's see how Jesse Duran handles the first pole position as the sweeper gets underway. There we go! She does fine there and starts the sweeper off strong. Look at that baby go. Look at that baby go. Oh my! Whoa! 38-year-old triathlete Kim seems a little intimidated. Come on, I can do it. I can do it. Here we go. Be the ball. Be the ball. <laughs> Ruben Sears almost goes down. Maybe being the ball with a giant stick swinging around isn't the best strategy. Perhaps not. Oh, and the sweeper has taken its first victim. Kim is down. 
Unfortunately, this triathlete's three sports are low jumping, podium face planting, and succumbing to gravity. And with one contestant done away with, we need five more to wipe out before we move on to our bonus round. Hey, I thought white men can't jump. Y'all look like y'all jumping to me. Woo. Right now, I wish I could jump like LeBron. Oh, it's higher. Earmuffs, kids. The sweeper begins to raise now, and this might be a problem for Amy, who's just 5'2". Good God, he's on the serious right now. Oh, that's our Amy, John. She's got the body of a garden gnome and the mouth of a truck driver. Come on! Amy goes down. Glenn Marie follows her. And there goes Ruben. Just like that, three more are out of the competition. Take another look at this, John. The sweeper decides Amy is too short for the ride and sends her into the water to wash her mouth out with soap. Glenn Marie wins the low jump and earns a pull to the stomach. Ruben was the ball, and the sweeper took him deep. Do you suckers better fall, man. Just as trash talk and math are correct, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. We only need two more people to wipe out before six contestants can move on and battle it out for that $1,000 bonus. Why don't you fall? And Jesse almost goes down, and there goes David Anderson. Look at this, David literally kissing the 50 grand goodbye, which means only one more person needs to wipe out before we have our six that advance to the bonus round. Oh, girl, that's... That's unbelievable. Not that unbelievable, really. Jesse clears the pole like it's her job. And it is, John. Look at that girl go-go. Somebody's got to be getting tired. You know I'm getting 270 up every time. Seems like Kevin's size, though, is starting to work against him here. One more. It's all. One more. And Pastor Jerry seems to be one step closer to the Lord as we start to see the toll the sweeper is taking on our contestants, John. Now this is the time when it comes down to determination and concentration. Pastor Jerry, there he goes down. Arthur Jazz Hands is right behind him. Andrew's able to pull himself up. That is amazing. Let's take another look at that, Chuck. Apparently, Jerry's so tired, he decides to take a nap. Arthur then thinks he can stop the sweeper with his jazz hands, which just allows him to tell Andrew that that's a bad idea. Bad idea. Andrew agrees and pulls himself up. We only needed one contestant to wipe out here. And since Jerry hits the water first, Arthur dances his way into the next round, along with the five other contestants, who will now battle it out for the $1,000 bonus. Let's get it on! I want the grand! Who's going to take the grand? On my name. Oh! Oh, that's it. The Jolly Green Giant is down. And with Kevin out, we only need three more wipeouts for the big payout. Travis goes. No, no, he doesn't. Whoa, that's how we do. Oh, my God. Ball. Oh, Travis hanging on seems to have irritated Jesse. Oh. And again, Travis hangs okay, on. Okay, for real. Ball. Why don't you fall? Finally, Travis goes down. Jesse's trash talking has done its job. Jesse's not paying attention, however, and takes one in the stomach, leaving us with only one more person to wipe out. What's up now? Who's going to hold out for $1,000? Will it be Police Academy grad Nick, who did great in the qualifier, or Andrew, who works in a candy store? Oh, man, watch that. Oh, my God. Oh. That ain't right. Exhaustion seems to be getting to Andrew, and he's not liking the way Nick's talking to him. Uh. But it's Nick who goes down. So much for the talk. Candyman wins the money. Yeah! So the Candyman moves on along with Nick, Travis, Kevin, Jesse, and Arthur. But before they can make it to the wipeout zone, one more challenge stands in their way. Welcome back here to Wipeout, the show where other people risk bodily harm so that you can point and laugh. Yeah, well, the sweeper brushed aside another six contestants, so we're down to our final six. Kevin Sheriff Osmus, Jesse Gogo Duran, Nick Rookie Cop Leland, Andrew Candyman Ritter, Arthur Jazz Hands Sevchik, and Mouth of the South Travis Nick. And of those six, just four will move on to the Wipeout Zone and get a shot at the $50,000 prize. There's just one thing, however, standing in their way, and it's called the Dizzy Dummy. I get the feeling they're not going to like this one. Here's how it works. There are four heats to this challenge. Contestants are strapped to the Dizzy Dummy until they're, you know, good and dizzy. Then they'll go down the tippy table course, and one person will win and move on. The other five losers will get back on the Dizzy Dummy and do the hopping blocks course. When that's done, oh no, spin again. Good times for us bad times for them. All right, the contestants are strapped in. Let's go to the dummies. Dummy. 
the thing that spins around. Mm-hmm. Crank it up. Let's get started. First across in each round moves on. $50,000 on the line, Johnny. The tippy tables, they're up and ready to go. First person to the other side, moving on to the wipeout zone. So round and round and round she goes. And let's just keep our fingers crossed no one blows. Go, go dancer Jesse Duran reconsidering her lunch. Sheriff Kevin keeping his eyes on a faraway donut shop. Arthur, first out of the gate, but pauses to do a Tom Bay pot of beret on his way to the tippy tables. Candyman hot on his heels. The sheriff goes down. Jazz hands is at the ramp. Andrew right behind him. The sheriff's world still spinning. Andrew goes down. Arthur, he might have it. No. You can see here, things are going well, but then right there, well, you can see him think, I could go here, but you know what? I'm going over there. Now he's got to go back and start it all over again. Yeah, we are back at the pileup. Travis making his move, and he could be crawling closer to $50,000. Uh, could someone tell Colonel Mustard to get a clue and start running? Sheriff's going for it, but he's going to be too late. Travis is going to be the first to advance to the wipeout zone. Do they realize they just lost? I think they're still dizzy. Travis, 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 come right here. What do you have to say to these guys? Good luck, because I'm glad I ain't got to do it again. But these folks do. Round two is up. Three spots remain, and this time, it's the hopping blocks course. Candyman, he's just not looking like the same Jolly Rancher we saw in the sweep. Arthur auditioning for a chorus line. Jesse never missing an opportunity to tan. Five, six, seven, eight. It's Jazz Hands skipping out to the lead. And here come the rest. It's just a jailbreak of the uncoordinated. But the Candyman can. Can't. And now he has to swim all the way back to the start. Jesse making her move. That's a go-go no-no. Arthur's back up, however, and he's dancing through this course one block at a time. But here comes Kevin, all 11 foot three of him. Arthur hanging on to that hopping block for dear life. Go for it! Kevin goes for it, almost there. <laughs> I'm glad I ain't got to go through this. Arthur and Kevin dueling it out. Kevin's got a foot out, but Arthur trying to catch up. Kevin now up, and he's on the wrong platform. Oh! And now he's down, so's the mouth. Oh! Oh! Now he's gonna have to go back and start all over. Back to the start, Nick's going for it. He's down. Jesse's right behind him, also down. And here comes Andrew, down two. Okay, guys. We've got the police academy grad on top of the go-go dancer, on top of the candy man. Or, as it's commonly known, Tuesday night in Jersey. Arthur making his move, using those jazz dancing skills, lunging forward, pulling himself up, and into the ah. second spot in the wipeout zone. Candyman Sheriff, they'll spin again. Okay, so how was that? You gotta tell me. You know what? It was <laughs> awesome. And we boldly move forward. Round three, and we are back at the tippy tables. And we have our four contestants left, two spots though remaining in the wipeout zone. And let's not underestimate the toll that the Dizzy Dummy can take on these contestants. I mean, every time they have to spin again, they get dizzier and they get dumber. Uh, you don't look so sweet, Candyman. John Candyman looks like he's working up a new flavor. On your game, guys. Let's Candyman go. going right for those tippy tables. Trying to figure out which way is up first, obviously. But there he goes. He's over one. He's over two. <laughs> Candyman, thank you very much. He's wet. Rest of the group looking a bit stunned. But wait, Nick's going for it, flying like a bullet. Shoots like a cop, runs like a girl. <laughs> Got it. That makes Nick the third person to move on to the wipeout zone. John, that seemed way too easy to me. It did. Jesse and the sheriff don't seem to understand the way the tippy table works. If your opponent is on the tippy table and you step on the tippy table, the tippy table tips. If you stand there like a fire hydrant while your opponent runs across, well, that's called handing somebody $50,000. Let's look at the leaderboard. We've got Arthur, Travis, and Nick moving on while the go-go dancer, sheriff, and candy man will compete for that final spot. Actually, they will not. Candyman says...